working as a senior assistant professor at Manakala Vinayagar Institute of Technology. Today, I wish to discuss rubbers followed by the pulverization. Before moving into the rubbers, what is mean by rubbers? Rubber is one kind of polymer. So, what is mean by polymer? Polymer is nothing but a high molecular weight macromolecule which is formed by the repeated linking of large number of small molecules with or without elimination of small molecule. I wish to explain it by taking one simple example polyethylene. We know very well this is ethylene. So I am going to polymerize this ethylene. So what does that mean? First I must take n number of ethylene. Now this is a double bond between these two CH2 is getting shifted and it is utilized in the bond formation. So we will get CH2 single bond CH2 bracket n times. So if you were a chemical that is it is monomer means the n we must represent at the front and if it is polymer means we must mention the n here. So this is polyethylene. So rubber is one kind of polymer. So now what is mean by rubber? Rubber is a macro molecule and it is also polymer non crystalline structure it is having the high molecular weight so this rubber is of two type first type is natural and the second one is synthetic or man made so what is mean by natural rubber if you can prepare a rubber from the natural means that we can call it as a natural for example, I am going to write the uh, chemical formula or chemical structure for nitrogen number. For this, I need an isoprene. Synthetic rubber. If you can prepare the rubber in the laboratory, means that 
we can call it as a synthetic rubber. One additional advantage of a synthetic rubber is that what is it? It can be easily vulcanizable. Okay, let us check one example for the synthetic rubber. Oh, uh -huh. 
charmless pute at the year of 1839 he discovered the term organization